Hi everybody, I thought I'd come out with yet another video of a possible November rapture. I'm continuing with that as we are commanded to watch. And it is just a suggested time frame, but I think it's pretty strong evidence. And I also have being weighed in the balance before tribulation or judgment comes on the earth. And I'm just going to briefly touch on today, November the 13th, is going to be the Interfaith Sustainable Development Returning to Sinai for the prophetic call to climate justice and the ceremony of repentance atop of Mount Sinai, the wrong Mount Sinai, in the Sinai Peninsula rather than in Saudi Arabia. But anyways, that's where they're doing it. But anyways, I um, wanted to go more so into the November rapture time frame as I think this is highly applicable. And so I'll go from there. So I wanted to just cover the returning to Mount Sinai ceremony of repentance that's going on today so I have no idea how long it would take for the trek to ascend Mount Sinai so I found some information from just one of the tour guides that goes from the Sharm El Sheikh where they're holding the COP27 summit and how that occurs and <clears throat> excuse me and what they have uh, for one of the tour guides, as I just said. So they go from there. They drive actually at 10, 30 p.m. the night before. And these are just for people who want to see sunrise from the summit. They drive up to St. Catharines where they begin the ascent at 2 a.m. in the morning and then the descent at 7 a.m. in the morning, so a five-hour trek, and this is for someone that's fit. So I'm assuming that for the interfaith trek up the mountain, that I'll give them the leeway that the summit climb will not be five hours, but maybe six to seven hours, and then having daylight descending for another seven hours so about a 12 to 14 hour round trip thing and however long it's going to take them to do the call to the lord to receive their climate justice 10 universal commandments so it'll be interesting to see what transpires then but anyways that leads up into my which i think this could possibly be part of the judgment that is coming although there is judgment coming on the world this is just another nail in the coffin per se towards an abomination of the lord looking to receive an additional 10 universal commandments i don't know if they plan on having whatever they receive being superseding the Ten Commandments that Moses received from God Almighty, but we'll soon see uh, if we're not raptured out of here. But speaking of the rapture, let me lead into this information. So right now the sun is in the Maseroth of the constellation of Libra, so that's being weighed in the balances. And I'm not talking about the zodiac, but instead the Maseroth that God put out in the heavens. So this is represented by, again, like I said, the constellation of Libra. So I asked the Lord to give me guidance on the possible time frame of the rapture. And the Lord led me to this information. I, I like reading uh, older books and um I titled this Weighed in the Balance Before the 2,520 Days Judgment of Daniel's 70th Week. So the Lord always gives us a period of warning, just like he did with Jonah, giving the Ninevites uh, 40 days warning. We always receive warning before God executes judgment. So in this article I found, uh, which 
I didn't even know existed in this book, but I asked the Lord to show me, and he led me to this. So I'll go ahead and read this. It says in Daniel 5.25, the mysterious handwriting on the wall during Belshazzar's feast is recorded as Mena Mena Tekel a person. These words are in the Aramaic language. Translated into Hebrew, the inscription would read Mena Mena Shekel Perez, which were Jewish weights, and Daniel's interpretation was, quote, weighed in the balances and found wanting. The gera was the smallest Jewish weight, and the total of the above weights expressed in geras is 2,520, as shown below. So in Aramaic, it would be mena mena tekel up herzen. In Hebrew, mena mena shekel peres. So a mena was equal to 1,000 geras. Another mena, another 1,000 geras. A shekel was 20 geras. And Perez, which means division, and in this case, the division of a mena, which is a half a mena, in other words, half of 1,000 or 500 geras. So the total is 2,520 geras. And I add it here, that's the length of the seven year tribulation of 2,520 days. Of Daniel's 70th week. But anyways, with the tribulation and being weighed in the balances before executing judgment to look at the signs occurring in the constellation of Libra, the scales. So that's what I did in Stellarium in the Maseroth. So unlike the Zodiac, which is actually a perversion of God's Maseroth, and the dates are actually off. So the sun actually, this is the constellation of Libra highlighted here in the lighter gray color, and the blue line is the ecliptic, which is the pathway of the sun. So the sun enters Libra here and goes through, this is the crossbar of the scales of Libra and the weights being down here. And then this is the pivot point of the scales. It actually crosses near the star Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Zubin El Ganubi. And then it continues on and exits right here. And then it goes into the uh, constellation of Scorpio in the Maseroth at about the 16th hour. So I wanted to see when it actually was more so in between the region of the balance here where this red line intersects the star Zubin El Ganubi, which is one of the of the balance, and when it exits at the 16th hour. So it actually spends time from about October 31st or Halloween, and then it enters near this star on the scales at around November 8th, and that was the same day that we had the total lunar eclipse. So I think we were weighed in the balance at the time of that total lunar eclipse. And if you look at Repo Man 64, so that's also the time period in which Uranus went behind, which means heaven, went behind the total lunar eclipse and it turned white as it and kept up with the total lunar eclipse. This is what happens on that day. This is Israel time. This is 6.36 a.m. here in Eastern Standard Time until 7.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This comes to me from Spinebreaker. He found this and it was, look at that, as Uranus crosses or, or as the moon eclipses uranus it turns the moon from blood red to white almost like us putting on our white clothes for the rapture that we're clothed in white 
he does a much better description than I just stated here. But anyways, it also on that same day approached the main star Alpha Zubinel Ganubi right here again, one of the balanced. So I think we're off balance is what that represents on November 8th. And then it leaves this constellation of Libra, the 16th hour, roughly on November 24th. So I think the rapture will occur prior to judgment when it leaves the constellation of Libra on the 24th of November. And that's when the execution of judgment will have occurred after we've been weighed in the balance. And then we go into Daniel's 70th week of 2,520 days. So uh, that's just my interpretation. But let me show a little bit more of what it shows in the heavens. So on the same day as the total lunar eclipse on November 8th, um, I just have an arbitrary time. You notice that the sun just enters into the scales at that point. And then at the crossbars, you have Venus. And then Mercury just goes behind the sun on November 8th. That was another sign that happened during that time. And the sun just enters the region of the crossbars and the scales of Libra on that same date. However, again on November 24th is when the sun at about the 16th hour exits Libra and goes into the constellation of Scorpio along the ecliptic. And the sign in the Maseroth on November 24th as the sun leaves Libra and starts to go into Scorpio at about the 16th hour, shown here, you see that there is a new moon, Venus, Mercury, and the star Antares, which is the heart of the Scorpio, are all in conjunction. And Antares is the counterpart to Mars, which means war. These are all in conjunction. So this is the time when I believe that judgment will be executed as the sun exits the constellation of Libra and just enters the constellation of Scorpio. And this conjunction occurs all on November 24th. So with that, I believe that the possible rapture will occur prior to November 24th, but today being the 13th, will be between these dates of November 13th through the 24th, while the sun is still in the constellation of Libra, and then after it exits the scales of Libra, then it goes into Scorpio with that new moon, Mercury, Venus, and Antares conjunction all in the constellation of Scorpio. So I believe that Libra again is representing us being weighed in the balance and found wanting as per Daniel chapter 5 verse 25. And then it goes into the sun exits the scales of Libra and goes November 24th into Scorpio. And that will be judgment and the start of the 2520 days of Daniel's 70th week again the rapture does not have to happen during those dates but there's a high chance of it with the fact that when you're weighed in the balances per Daniel 525 that the many many tekel or herbson equals 2,520 geras, which is exactly the same number of days of Daniel's 70th week and the seven-year tribulation. So I believe the whole time period between now and prior to November 24th will be the onset of Daniel's 70th week again, the days of tribulation and the onset 
of judgment as it enters into the constellation of Scorpion. So you see everything that is occurring in the world, and I believe that it is just all being held back by the church before it is raptured out of here. And if you have not been saved, now is the appointed time to get saved and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And now is the accepted time to get saved and confess your sins before the Lord Jesus Christ as the time is getting short. And also, tomorrow is not promised. But the point is, you do not want to go to hell as there is a lot of stuff that is about to occur during the tribulation. You have a chance to be saved during the tribulation, but you do not want to go to hell. You want to avoid that at all possible costs because hell is forever and you cannot even imagine how long eternity could even possibly be. As it says so many times by David the psalmist that our life is but a vapor. So please get saved today regardless if the rapture occurs during this time because tomorrow is not even promised. So Anywho, I hope this video has been a blessing. Yes, I keep adding dates to the time period of which the rapture should occur, but we are to watch until our redemption draws nigh. Anyways, I will talk to you soon again if nothing occurs during this time and I am led to more information and I will present that if so at that time. We shall soon see. Take care.